Hello everyone, this is Tesfo and I now welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Adventure. In the last video, we got Chocobo and found a way to a desert where we had to find this cave in a cryptic fashion. Which, unfortunately, ended up in a clean mess of death. A clean mess because there is no way an early game what game would have started spewing blood everywhere. So let's hope this cave goes better, which I don't think it will, because there were enemies in the first room this time, and already took away like a third of my health. I should probably do something about that. I hate that thing. Oh. Let me prepare myself next time. Oh look, now there's even more mummies than there were last time! Where is he? There he is. I want to attack it from afar. There we go. Yeah. These are my worst ventures into this cave ever. All the other rooms around here are pretty much dead ends, so let's just move straight ahead into something we can do. Okay. I'm not. Okay. Well. Ow. Ow. These guys hurt a ton. Oh, where are they? I hate it when enemies decide to just disappear for a bit. Ow. These guys are seriously obnoxious, but there we go, they're dead. Should I just use fire on this guy? There. What do you have? Oh! Okay. I think this was about as far as I got in the last video. Because Mr. Shadow Man here is evil. Oh my. Shadow. He wishes he could be this good. Strong and unbeatable like Sonic. But he can't. Can't even slide properly. I don't know. The dance of the cucumber. <laughs> I do like Veggie Tales. And wait a minute, isn't a new Veggie Tales show from the original creator supposed to come out in October, November? I remember something like that. Um, I don't think the ice book is this way. It's not. At least this means you can't skip the next spell of the game. We were told the Magic Book of Ice has to be somewhere in here, so it's no surprise, really. Oh, my. I wish these guys would st stop getting in my way. There, you have been punished. I'll punish you as well. Oh, fudge. Just there. Oh no, no, heavens no. Let's just use this right now. Whew! I think I'm just gonna wait for a full charge up here. I'm sick of Mr. Shadow Man, oh gosh. There we go. Well, let me get out. Yeah, okay, we'll use up the pointless cures. I think I'm gonna save here. Oh, dang. I didn't realize I was accumulating that much experience. Ugh. Locked, 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 locked. They locked it all up? Eh, okay. I don't need it, actually. I'm so close to a level up. Now, did that require a key? No, it didn't. If I'm so close to level up, why haven't I leveled up yet? 
It was a lie. Uh, let's just kill one of these guys with fire instead. Not the guy I wanted to get. Uh, thanks, Amanda, but I was gonna kill that guy after. Okay, there we go. Now what's in here? You know, I can probably only one hit that guy if I charge up my willpower for the spell. Are we serious here? What is even in here? Hi. Hi, Mr. Monster. Oh! Do I have that equip? Well, I'm gonna be selling that. Oh, I can push him with my shield. That means I have a good shield. Shields allow you to do that if they're powerful enough. So it is still a good idea to upgrade them when possible. They do that they do that instead of giving you defense, but it's still very good all the same. Okay, um Okay, so we don't want to activate that other switch over there because that's bound to just shut the door entirely. Well, these guys aren't that powerful, at least. But let me switch to my stronger weapon. There we go. I like my strong weapons. Ow. Okay, here we go. Here's the magic book of ice. Now we have the ice spell. This spell allows us to freeze enemies. It creates a little icicle projectile that we can actually guide. And when it hits an enemy, it can freeze them. I don't think you get experience for enemies to kill while frozen because they just die in like one hit anyway. But still, ow. It's mostly necessary to solve puzzles, so don't run out of magic when you're at an ice puzzle. Oh gosh. I need these guys to go away. Why is he not dead yet? Finally. Ugh. I can get out of here with ease now. Ow! Alright. That's enough magic I wasted there. Uh, no, wrong item. I need a Martok. I can't wait till we get the weapon that prevents us from having to s keep stalking up on Martoks. Alright, so this is an ice puzzle. We need to freeze one of these enemies. So that we can push them onto the switch. There we go. Oh, I found a cure potion. How nice. But yay, time to move on in this dungeon. Oh, for heaven's sakes. There. Are you seriously gonna block the door? I didn't kill either of them. Uh-oh, look who's coming this way! Thank you, Amanda. I sincerely appreciate that. And oh! Boss time! Nice. We're going to be fighting Medusa! Ooh, Medusa! But enough talk! How about you? This will be your place to rest forever! So Medusa, she looks so, so anime-like. She wanders around in various patterns and summons snakes at you. Her weak spot is her head, which if you're n not above her, can be a pretty difficult spot to hit. Of course... 
doing that is highly risky. So, the one speeder is a pretty good idea, because if you get your willpower fully charged up, well, um, you just unleash it across. You could also use a sword if you want, but the sword is pretty weak in comparison, I think. Well, okay, the silver sword is probably one of our better weapons, actually, but still. Oh, I missed entirely. This is a nerve boss fight that can be won pretty easily if you don't get too greedy, like I am. Also, Amanda can dish out some very nice damage, and since she can't get hurt, you could just use her to deal with a lot of the fight. And are you kidding me, Medusa? Stop it. I'm gonna cure myself again. At least her movement patterns are quite random compared to other bosses in the game, which allows for a bit more of a challenge this time around. Unlike other boss fights, which are just too predictable. Also, she's wearing a dress. When has Medusa ever worn a dress? This is honestly probably the prettiest Medusa's ever looked in the history of ever. Well, I got her. That's nice. And again, I think the shield can actually... Yes, it can. That's nice to know. Ow. Oh, shoot. What? Oh. I was not expecting that. Oh, the explosion killed me. I don't think I've ever died to the explosion before. I knew it could damage me, but I didn't think it would actually kill me. Well, that's disappointing. I did not realize... This is the first time she's ever turned me to stone. Oh, my. So she actually can. Okay, then. I did not expect that. Ah, I hate it when that happens. Here I am, just trying to dish out some good damage against Medusa, and then that happens. Are you kidding me? Oh. Now, now, now I'm just doomed to not win. Guess I should just use my heal magic, even though it just wastes time to have to take that out. Well, I think you can destroy the snakes, too. So, it's a good idea not to run into her body at all, so that you don't have to take the chance against stoned. Was Medusa ever in a Final Fantasy game? I don't remember. I've only played through the first five. But I think Medusa was in one of them. No, it's probably my imagination talking. I wouldn't be surprised if Medusa ever was in one. Uh, uh. What? Oh darn you, Medusa, I'm almost out of magic. Can we just end this right now? Okay, there. Whew. Whew. Okay, music at my tears. <laughs> what a joke! Can't find a drop of tear. Let's go back to Jad first. Are you okay? I guess Medusa bit me while fighting. One who was bitten by Medusa turns to Medusa. I'm gonna turn into a Medusa in a short while. Please, do away with me and take my tears, Sumo. No, I, I can't. I've 
gonna be a monster. I might lose my mind and hurt people. <laughs> Please, Zuma, before I lose my feelings. Please, take my dear Celeste. Tell him that I loved him. Please. Zuma. Please. I'm sorry, Amanda. But I had to. That was a bit of an emotional scene, wasn't it? Oh yeah, I could ride the chocobo, but I might want to get a level up before entering the next dungeon. Which, yes, I'm going to be heading to that straight away. As there's really nothing else to do. Ah, fudge. Alright, there. Come on, I, I really want this level up. Otherwise, I have to rest at the inn and spend 10 whopping gold. I don't want to do that. It's Mr. Scorpion, thank you. I'm starting to wonder if I even will get a level up. Like, at all. Okay, there we go. Hmm, maybe not. Okay, there I did. Good. There, now I won't have to rest up at the inn. How nice. <sighs> there we go. Let's go inside. Yes, wait for me, Chocobo. I think I got stuff to- Oh, not this guy. Go away. Thank you. You as well. You stay away from me. Go in here! I want to sell my flames. I know I could use them as weapons, but I'd rather get money out of them. They don't even cost much. What the heck? Oh, well. Money's money. They're done. Okay. Now it's time to go into... Oh, no. Thank you. Very much for that. I hear static sounds. They're annoying. There we go. Now we can finally go in here and meet... Mr. Parrot. Hi, Mr. Parrot. Uh, where are those teardrops? Here they are. Tears of Amanda. Yay! Hi, Lester. Thank you. I'm sorry to tell you, but... Amanda sacrificed her life to save you and all. To save me? Oh, Amanda. Will you please help me to avenge my sister? Yes, Lester. Thanks. Let's go, Sumo. M Mystic Tune? Yeah. Alright, there we go. Now, if we ask Lester for anything, all he'll do is change the music, which I'm not gonna do because this is my favorite dungeon tune in the entire game, and gosh darn it, I don't want to replace it. But we'll explore that in the next video. Until then, this has been Tales of 109, and have a nice day.